Hello and welcome back to this series. We have now started to make some serious progress. In the last video, we had learned how to specify the location of the nodes using joint code names. This forms the very foundation based on which a structural geometry is built. In this video, we will learn how to specify or how to define the members once the joint coordinates are defined. But before we go into that, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel and join us in this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with STEM. So we will continue with our example of the goal post frame structure with this video. In the last video, we have seen how to define the nodal coordinates where we have defined the coordinates in a table and we have also seen how we can define the same coordinates called the joint coordinates using the text format in stat group. In this video, we will learn about specifying members in the text format in stat group and that is called the member incidences. Now, as the joint coordinates is a command to define the coordinates of the node in STAT, the command to define the members in STAT is called member incidences. It's called member incidences. So, how do we define member incidences? So, for example, here we have drawn this frame and we now know that member 1 is between node 1 and node 2. So, we write that as member 1 is between node 1 and node 2. So, this defines the member in stack. Let us separate this by a cell call. The member 2 is specified as a member between node 2 and node 3. So, member 2 is defined between node 2 and node 3. Use a separator. And then we have one final member, member number 3, which is defined between node 3 and node 4. So, Member number 3 is defined as between node 3 and node 4. So, this member incidences command here defines the member in that row. Now, the general uh, definition or the general way in which we can specify or uh, the general format rather uh, to specify. Uh, the member incidences is nothing but we have to write member incidences and we have to define like here you had node number you will have member number and you will have the first node which we call the start node and the end node. So basically if we start from node 1, node 1 is the start node and end at node 2, node 2 is the end node. So we have to, for member incidences, we have to define member number, then the start node and the end node and if there are multiple members, you have to repeat this command with a separator which is a semicolon. Now the total geometry of the structure is defined when you define the joint coordinates and member incidences. A single definition of joint coordinates does not define the geometry of the structure, it just defines the location of the nodes. But to complete the geometry of the structure, you have to define the member incidences. Note that the position of the members is determined by the position of the nodes because the nodes represents the end points of the member. Another important aspect to understand at this point is the start and the end of the member. Let us consider member 1 which is defined between nodes 1 and node 2. In this case, 
as we have learned before the member incidences would be one representing member number one and then followed by another one which represents node one followed by two which represents node two node one is called the start node of the member and node two is called the end node of the member one now from the geometry perspective it doesn't make any difference if member one is defined between node two and node one the only difference would be in the member incidences command which would be written as one two one instead of one one two now as i have said this member number one is defined between node one and node two and we say the node one has been defined first node two has been defined later so node one will be called the start node as i've already said and not node two will be called the end node now similarly for member number two we can say node two as the start node so for for member number one we have node one as the start node and for mem for uh, for member number one node two would be the end node for member number two again node two would be the start node and node three will be the end node similarly for member number three node three could be the start node and number four would be the end node now see the start node and end node uh, is basically after the member number the node number that comes first or has been specified first it is called the start node and the node number that comes later is called the end node now the question is if we reverse so we we can see geometrically that it doesn't matter whether we define the member from this to this or this to this so if we reverse the start nodes and end nodes say for member number one if we reverse uh, the order say we say number two is the start node and number one is the end node then what is the implication well from the geometry point of view there are no implications only the definition would change in this case instead of one being one two so the member number one having start node as one end node as two we just have to define a different command so the start node would be two here and the end node would be one from the geometrical point of view as i have said there is no implications however a reversal in the start and the end nodes of the member will result in a reversal of the local axis system of the member we have not discussed the concept of local axis as yet and we will see this concept later in the series however it would be sufficient to know for now that a change in the local axis system would result in the change of the representation of the analysis results which is consistent with the local axis system of the map for now it's sufficient to know about the start and the end of the map in the next video we will discuss another important concept of defining a structure model using stat space and stat plane i hope you have liked what we have discussed today if you have indeed have liked this video please hit the like button and press the bell icon for more notifications from this channel see you in the next video till then bye bye